everyone, welcome back to Neurochain Studio. I'm with Neurochain CMO Bruno Delahaye. Hello, Linda. How are you today, I'm Bruno? I'm very well, thank you. Has it been a busy weekend? Yes, it's been quite a busy weekend. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys kept us busy on the different uh, Telegram, Twitters, and other medias, but it's been a good weekend. So um, thanks to be, uh, I'm happy to be back, and we have a few things to report today, right? Yes, it's been one week since the public sale has been live. The contribution bar is now at 65.4%. Yeah. Congratulations. That's great. Now, some of you on Telegram have been saying that it's a little bit slow. Um, actually, between Tuesday, Wednesday, the average sale price was between 400 and 500 ether per day. Yeah. Uh, what's your feeling about that? Yeah, we. Yeah, I know we've been uh, receiving a few comments from uh, some of you about the speed of the bar. I can ensure you that it's uh, it's actually working perfectly well. So the ratio is fine. Uh, some of the issue that we have maybe is uh, you know, the KYC procedures that uh, we are going through. We have decided to make it extremely um, well organized in terms of being compliant with rules. And as a result, uh, you know, some of you are experimenting some issues in terms of uh, the KYC. Uh, and it's been sometimes a bit uh, manually uh, difficult for some of you, I think. Is there any particular country that you're having difficulty with or people might be waiting longer than, than they might think? Well, actually, there's maybe one area of the world, which is the United States of America, where we've had an issue. Let me show you actually on the screen. Uh, this is a uh, an analytics that shows where our um, different visitors are coming from when they're visiting the website. As you can see, there's a big blue uh, here in the United States. And as you can see, there's a very vast majority with 70% of our visitors coming from the U.S. This is not investors portion, but this is where people are coming from when they're coming to our website. So huge interest in uh, the US uh, right now. And that means that many of you are attempting to become investors from coming uh, and being from the US. So please be patient. Uh, there is procedures to welcome the accredited US investors. It's on posted on our blog. And we are manually processing all those uh, investors right now, which I know takes some time, but at some point we'll unlock. And uh, you know, we'll be happy to have many of you from the States being investors. So you're not particularly worried? No, nope, not at all. This is week one, uh, and uh, we are now entering into week two. So we just finished the discount phase, and we are now in the attractive phase. So you guys are enjoying a nice uh, one euro price for the token. It's going to come, you know, higher at some point when we reach the haste phase later on. And therefore, if you are willing to invest, I would uh, recommend to do it earlier, uh, and sooner is better. So now's the time to contribute if you want to get involved. Exactly, uh, and uh, bear with us with the procedures in the KYC. It's done to protect our investors, uh, and hopefully you will uh, appreciate that. Well, thank you very much, Bruno, for that update. We'll be seeing you again tomorrow, I right. hope. More news tomorrow. Excellent. Cool. Thank you. Now, don't you guys go away. We have a special guest. We have Eve Michelle Laporcia, who is a team member and a lead developer who is coming to join us just now. Thank you, Bruno. Thank you. Talk to you soon. For those of you who don't know Yves Michel Le Porcher, he is the lead data scientist at the French car manufacturer Renault. Hello, Yves Michel. Hello, Linda. Thank you for coming to join us today. Thank you for your invitation. What implication does your job have towards blockchain, neurochain? Well, currently, I am data scientist in a big data context by Renault, which is one of the biggest car manufacturers in the alliance grouping world-class manufacturers like Nissan or Mitsubishi. What is of importance for us right now is to create the next generation of autonomous cars. So what you're proposing is that you will be driving my car for me? Not exactly. What we try to do is, for instance, use Neurochain to send the various algorithms and collect the required data to improve your driving experience. So you're talking about collecting my personal information, tracking my movements, isn't this a little bit scary, big brother scenario? Well, definitely it looks like, Linda. But what is of really importance for us, especially by Renault, is to take care of our customer and their data. The privacy is something of great importance to us. What do we do is we collect data with specific technology. Second, we anonymize everything. And then we apply various algorithms to be able to know how you drive and how you can actually try to improve it. Not exactly you way of driving, but the next generation with the robots. So could you elaborate on a specific user case? Yes, definitely. One of the most promising use cases is with Renault Mobility. We try to implement the blockchain technology with Neurochain. More specifically, 
you use a seamless car renting system. In other words, you put the keys in the car and that's it. All you have to do is say, okay, I have a smartphone and I say, okay, you can use my car. Done. What happens below, you have plenty of technologies that take care of the warranties that you really can drive the car, all the insurance paperwork and all these part of elements that really is a hassle when you try to rent a car. And then when you get back to your car, it's here. Even if it, it could have been rented and make money out of it. So the thing of interest is that you have a car, you can use it with rental mobility and eventually with a blockchain of neural chain. So anybody could actually participate in this scheme? Absolutely, that's a game. So can we say that Neurochain and Renault are looking at a partnership? I cannot say there is a partnership, but yes, definitely we are trying to find a solution where both Neurochain and Renault find a proper inter a common interest. Well, I certainly look forward to that. Definitely. And I'm sure our investors do as well. This is all added value for Neurochain and of course the general implication that blockchain will help people in the future. Thank you very much for joining us today, Yves Michel. Thank you, Linda. If possible, could you come back at a later date and uh, explore, we can explore some more use cases together? Absolutely. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow. I'll be back with Bruno and maybe we'll have some other special guests. We don't know for the minute. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Hi everybody, it's great to have you and I want to continue to talk to you. So for this, you simply need to subscribe to this channel. We have more stories to tell. Come and see you soon.